Okay. Hello. Um, I hope you can hear me now. Good. Welcome. So, um, it's only you. Okay, we're going to start with prayer. Lord, thank you for um, this time that we are um, away, but thank you for all this uh, computers and all the technology that help us to um, communicate and be in, in touch. And uh, now um, help us to learn more. And I pray for the other um, students that they will join and learn more. Uh, bless the ministry for the deaf at Emmanuel Baptist Church many many deaf people can um, hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and go to church in Jesus name we pray amen amen okay all right welcome pastor uh, I just had to switch to my iPad uh, and I I don't know what's going on with my computer um, so uh, First, we're going to start reviewing um, the greetings or greetings, okay? And um, and so, uh, if you remember this page, 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 um, the first uh, one. Uh, you have it, okay? Let me, let me know if you have this page. Thank you, Pastor. Um, you have this page. Uh, I need you to um, answer me. So, you have it, okay. So, ready? So, um, hello. Uh, goodbye. Um, Um, thank you. Um, okay. Uh, excuse me. So I'm going to say one greeting, greetings, and you have to tell me the other one. Welcome. Um, uh, it's a Cliff or Brian, I don't know, or the whole family. <laughs> Good. Welcome. So, uh, please, all of you have this lesson one. And, um, and so, uh, what we having a conversation, okay? And this conversation, conversation with a C, conversation comes from your mouth, conversation. We having this conversation and oh, welcome Mary back, man. Um, my hands up. Uh, mm, 
if maybe I need to be higher. Give me one second. I can't. Can, can be a little higher. Um, and so, um, so I, I see new people. Uh, so um, we're using this page. That was a homework, a homework. And, um, and so uh, what I want you to do now is that you, um, uh, I'm gonna say number one, and you say number two, and I say number three, you say number four, and so on. So, hello. I can see you, but I hope you say goodbye. You say goodbye. How are you? How are you? So you have to put the hands that way and then turn it how how so put the hands backward together and then turn around how are everything here is uh to be uh you are his she's they are we are just that very simple okay uh, are you okay uh, let's do it again how remember you don't need to use your voice but you need to move your lips deaf people they read your your lips and your hands Okay, so you don't have to talk, with, use your voice, but move your lips, okay? So, that's number two, goodbye. So, how are you? Um, and so, I hope you answer fine or I, there's two ways to say I, I, I pointing at me or with the I, 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 okay, I am fine, you don't have to say am, just I am fine, or I fine, I am fine, um, so thank you, then you say you're welcome, welcome. You're welcome. Many, many deaf uh, are going to say thank you back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, in the book, you have with two hands. You're going to see people say one hand. And so, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, or, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I personally only see your welcome for welcoming people. Always I see deaf people saying, thank you, you're welcome. Um, so now, excuse me, or excuse I, you say excuse me, excuse. So you gotta use your left hand or uh, that depends. Your dominant hand is the one that moves. Your non-dominant hand is the one that stays fixed. So, then your dominant hands. If your dominant hands is left, then this is the one that the the move. But if you're right, then uh, right-handed, uh, you move your right hands and your this one stay fixed. So, um, excuse me excuse me or pardon me is also used for forgive me 
And here, forgive me. Be careful, don't do like this, the whole thing, because that means clean. Clean, you see, clean, cleaning, cleaning. Okay, um, but right here, you see, uh, right here, just this part, this part of the hands. Excuse me, forgive me, pardon me. Um, and so, um, I am sorry. Once again, we don't say I am. We say I sorry. I am sorry. Hmm? If you see deaf uh, people writing, many of them are going to uh, write I sorry because that's the way they talk. They talk like this. I am sorry, but you say I am sorry. So sorry, you use the A. And you make a circle in your heart, okay? Here is your heart, right? I am sorry. I am sorry. Sorrow, okay? Over your heart, all right? Okay. Um, now I need you to reply. Uh, uh, I do number one, and you do number two. Uh, I do number three. You number four. Here, number one. Hello. Okay. You say goodbye, okay? How? You say, I fine, I am fine, I am fine, I am fine, okay? Good, you say, thank you back, or you say, you're welcome. Look at my hands, okay? Like this, like a bee. Welcome, bee, welcome, okay? Um, I hope you say, I am sorry. I am sorry, okay? Remember, excuse me, two times. Excuse me. Forgive me, forgive me, excuse me. Okay, now let's turn the page. We're still on the homework part. Um, then please, you say please with the hand open, the same as am so I am sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. So please with the hands open, please. You make a circle in your heart, okay? Uh, or or better say in uh, 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 right here because you can also say something like enjoy enjoy but you make it faster enjoy um, that's also a sign for pleasure pleasure okay that pleases me pleases me pleases me okay okay so please please around Right here, make a circle, okay, uh, around your chest, okay, please, okay. Now, number nine is, are you deaf? We don't say are, you just say you deaf. Are you deaf? Now, I need you to uh, uh, answer me, yes or no, okay? Now in the in the picture you can see um, that it goes from the ear to the mouth. I see many many that's doing from the mouth to the ear. Deaf, deaf. Okay. Um, now pay attention. The, the question is right here. You gotta mark the question with your face. Look at my face. Look at look right here. My eyelashes. You see, that's how you say the question mark. It's right here with your face. Um, and so, um, sorry, let me turn on my phone. Um, now, uh, I hope you answer yes. You see with the S, yes. Or no, and oh, you say no, no, no. No, 
no, no. Okay, let's try it again. I hope you say yes or no. Okay, another question. Question. To do question, you have to mark the question mark on the air. Question. At the same time. Question. Question. So, second question. Um, that's, I, are you hearing a hearing person? So I need you to answer me, yes or no. Now, um, uh, next question, what time is it? That's all you have to say. You Use your your uh, um, index finger and and point to your watch. Now, what is the question right here on your eyelashes? So I need you to now tell me the time. I'm gonna ask you the question. I'll give you one one minute to figure it out. I can see you. But um, just try. So right now is 5.23. That's what you have to say. 5.23 or 23. It's, it's okay to say 2.3 or 2.3. Okay. So let me ask you again. Good. Did you say 524 or 24? Good. So, um, okay. Now I need you to ask me the question. Go ahead, ask me. I can see you, but I'm gonna imagine. I imagine that you ask me what time is it? Then it's 5.25, All right, now let's uh, talk about the day. So to do the day, make a D here, D and another D in the, and then put your elbow on your D and it's like the sun, the sun goes down so that's how you say they so they they so um so uh and this is now look like a y both hands now 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 and now and so to say today is a combination of now and they so let's try it um Today, today, make sure you make the Y for now, and then the 2D, look at the 2D, okay? If you're the first time here, open your hands, and then put your, all your, uh, these three fingers on your thumb, and just leave the index up, and that's the D. I don't know how you can see it. Looks like a D. Look, you see it like this. That's a D. Um, so, uh, and so, look another D in these hands and say, they. So, today. So, I'm going to ask you, um, what, there's two ways to say, to ask. What, you see, that's what. Or you can say, what, like, cutting your hands. Which one you prefer? 
you need to learn both. Because deaf people, they use both. So, some deaf say, what? And others say, what? Okay? Now, in sign language, always the WH questions are always at the end. So, in English, we say, what is your name? But well, that's not sign language. In sign language, we say, If we translate that into English, it is your name. What is it? So, uh, so, uh, so, how do you ask what is today's day? Go ahead, try. Okay, so let me help you. So, What did I say? If you translate in English, uh, I say, today, what is it? Okay, so, what is it? I like to do, use that. I used, uh, uh, when I learned, I, I was always what, what, but then I see so many deaf, and uh, it's, I love it to say, what, it's kind of easier, say, what. Okay, so, um, so, uh, question, then, okay, what day, what day is it today? Today, what? Okay, so I want you to, um, I'm going to ask you the question seven times, seven times. And uh, then you're going to answer with the day. So uh, first is Monday. Remember, you make a circle with the M. Monday. Now why the why the M is up? Uh, I do it down. But many deaf people will do it Monday. Okay, Monday with the M. Tuesday with a T. Tuesday. Now there's another sign for that. What is it? Bathroom, but now with a circle. Gotta go to the bathroom with a T. Bathroom, okay? Or bathroom, you wanna put bathroom, okay? Okay, what is the difference between Tuesday and bathroom? The circle, Tuesday. Wednesday, W, Wednesday. Look at my hands, it's backward, it's facing to me. Monday, Tuesday, you can also say Tuesday like this, but I see a lot of that Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday with the W, okay, W, Wednesday. Thursday, okay, you have to do um, you, like the T and then the H. Thursday, T, H, in a circle, T, H. Look at the H, you hear for the first time, okay, so it's the index finger and the middle finger together. H. Okay. And and then you make a circle. That's T H Thursday. Friday, any guess? F. Fr Saturday, any guess? With the S. Saturday. Saturday. And Sunday. How you do Sunday? You do Sunday like this. Sunday. Now, um, if you look in the book, they do Sunday and circle. So let's do it because you can do both Sunday, up, down, or your Sunday to continue the circle. So let's review. Okay, you, your turn. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Um... Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, T H and then H, Friday, Friday, very good, Friday with the F, and um, Saturday, with the S, Saturday, and now Sunday, 
the two hands open. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, now I need you to ask, uh, answer this question. I heard you say, today is Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. All right, let me ask you again. Look at my face as I ask you. And also, I, 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 should, I should say it moving my lips. All right, once again, I hope you say today is Wednesday or simply Wednesday, okay? All right, um, you have any question, type it in, okay? Uh, I see your question, you just have to type it in. I saw um, Mary Batchman, she say, I gotta go, I gotta go, I got, you see like the X, got to go, and then go. Or, or go, gotta live, gotta go. You see, you go, you put your, your hands on your shoulder and you say, go, and you close it as you leave. Go, and got it, it or must, should, right here with the X. Okay, don't do it like this, because this is taxes, okay? Taxes, taxes, but it's like this in front, got it? Got it, go. Okay, so any questions, just uh, type it in for me. Now, uh, all right, so 5.30, it's time to start our lesson number one. So open your book. The Joy of Signing. Open your book on page 17. Page 17, page 17, okay? And so, uh, first, uh, we're going to um, uh, go over all the sign, then I'm gonna ask you a question, and then we're gonna make sentences, all right? So, ready? Okay, so I need, I need my computer now. One second, let me go to my computer. And uh, and so I can see um, the questions here. Okay. Uh, almost. Almost there. Okay. Here we are. All right, so I'm gonna move my computer to the side so I can see my computer and you can see me. There we go. Uh, okay, uh, ready? Okay, family. Okay, so you're gonna make two F, all right? And then you're gonna point your F out, okay? Put it together and make a circle. Family, actually, all relationships go in a circle. For example, if you're going to say society, you use the two S, society, all right? Okay, if it's a group with a G, you say group, okay? So most of the uh, uh, people, uh, uh, any, anything with a lot of people, you're gonna make in a circle, okay? So family, you two F, Put it together like this, and then make a circle. Close the circle. As you do the circle, you turn your hands. Family, family, okay? With the S, society. With the G, group, okay? So family, relationship. You use your, your two A's, and then you, uh, you see? like mixing something, family relationship. All right, so the first is man. 
Now you, this is boy, you know, uh, in the past, I mean, a lot of boys like to use a cap, so that's what boy is. And then, men, 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 men. So the reason, uh, why is this? Because it's a boy that is grown up. A boy that is grown up, so that's men, men. Okay, we don't do men. No, no, men, men. So make sure you, men, men, men. Um, example, he is a man. You see, I don't have to say is. He is a man. Now, female. So now we're going to divide our face in two parts. This from the cheek up, you know, God says that the man will be the head of the house. So that's because of the, uh, that's uh, for everything that is male. And then from here down is everything that is female. Okay. From here up male and from here down female. So that's why we have boy here and man here. Now, how do you say female? Okay. First, let's do girl. Girl. Use your A and do girl. Girl, you see on your on your cheek, girl, 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 or female, female, or girl. Like she is a girl. And how do you say woman? It's a girl that is tall. So, woman, 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 boy, man, girl woman okay all right and so um so go to page 18 there is one here that you want to see um for gentlemen so this here is a you know um polite very polite here with a b polite so you say man man polite that's a gentleman a polite man okay Polite man. All right. So turn to page um, 18. Here you got woman, 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 woman. See, remember what woman means? A girl that is tall. Woman. A tall girl. Okay. And now what is a child or a boy? Is a little boy. A little boy. It's a child or a boy. A little boy. A man? A man. Okay. Man. Man is a tall boy. All right. So many, many deaf will say like this. Boy. Man. 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 Woman. Um, and then uh, a child would be a, a boy or a girl. You see, depending if it's a, a small girl small boy it's a child and a daughter will be a girl in your arms like a baby okay so and a son would be a boy in you know in your arms like a baby so how do you say boy correct boy how do you say man okay, now, so boy Okay, let, let's clarify this. This is male in general. Boy will be small. Man will be tall. Okay. Then this is female in general. And then this is girl. Girl. And woman. Tall. You see? Okay. Uh, is it clear now? Now, son in your arms. A boy in your arms, a son, and a girl in your arms, a girl. It's a daughter, I mean, okay? So, uh, how do you say father? Uh, let me say a sentence. How many, so to ask how many, move your hands like this. Much, or how many? Okay, you put it, everything together, and then you go as they say. How many children? So, this is one boy, one child. How, if you to make a plural, you just repeat, children, children, 
do you have? Have. You take your hands and put, uh, pointing your the palm of your hand to your chest. Half. So, uh, so um, let me ask you, any of you, You can say, I or I have two boys. And that's my case. I have, I have two boys. Okay. Uh, and zero girls. Zero girls. You may have one girl. Okay. Or one boy, two boy, two girls. All right, so let me ask you, um, uh, okay, Rachel. Rachel. I can see you, but I hope you say, you know, I forgot, I think you have two girls and two or one boy, I forgot. Um, uh, let me ask you, uh, okay, three, three what? Okay, or oh, three, so, so it's two girl and one boy, is that correct? Correct? Yes or no? Okay. Um, okay. And uh, is Cliff uh, family still there? So I'm gonna ask you. I think. I think is Cliff has uh, two boys and one girl, I think. All right, let's move on. Father, remember this is the male part. Father, and so mom or mother? Mother. What, you, you, you know, your, your, the palm of your hand. Father, mother. Okay, father, mother. And to say grandfather, grandmother, just repeat it twice. Grand, father, grandmother. See, uh, that's it. That's a father twice or mother twice. Grandfather, grandfather. Okay, so, um, and so question. Again, what am I asking? Was your father's name? Your, as your, your, her, his, your, Father's name, your, okay, father's, father name, what? And then you respond, my father's name is, uh, I don't know, and then the name, you spell the name. Okay, so another, um, another question. What am I asking? What's my your mother's name? So, again, look at my face. So go ahead and, and answer with spelling name. Okay, my mom's name is uh, I don't know Mary. Um, go to page twenty. Page 20, okay. 
brother. So, a boy or a male together is a brother. Brother. And a sister? Good job. Girl together. Sister. Now, this is too slow to say brother, sister. So, deaf people, they say brother. They put one finger on top of the other. Okay? Brother, instead of, of the or go like this, uh, 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 that takes a long time. So, just faster. And sister? Girl. Okay? Sister. Sister. So, if you sit in the book like this or like this, it's fine, but it's slow. And so, deaf people talk fast. Fast. Like this, fast. Fast, fast, fast. And so they say, brother, sister, brother, sister. And so, question. And, this is and, and. An idea? Okay. How many? brothers and sister you have okay do you have you don't do it in some language you say you have do you have okay and say i have it's my family my family i have mm, one brother and four sister so Total my family, we are six. Six members. Here with the M, members. 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 In one side of your chest and the other side, members. Okay, so, um, Mary. Trap. Married. <laughs> Mary. Mary. And so, um, Mary. Um, so, how you say husband? Man, marry man, okay? Husband, husband. How do you say wife? Good job. Um, marry woman, marry woman, okay? Husband and wife, okay? Husband and wife, all right? Uh, engage and so there is a sentence for that yes a sentence are you married you don't say you don't have to say are just you married now look at the face look at my face and then how you answer I see let me ask somebody let me, uh, uh, Say yes or no. Yes or no. Okay. Now, engagement is very easy. Engagement, you just make the E of engagement and put it in the ring. You see? Engagement. Engaged. Engagement. Put your E on your ring. Okay? Your ring. So, uh, okay. So, uh, they, is they, you move your fingers. For several people, they, two people in this case, they are engaged. They are engaged. You see? Pointed to a couple. They are engaged. Okay? Make sure you make your E engaged. You see? Okay? Now, wedding. You, you know when they go to a wedding, they take their hands and go in front of the pastor. So, that's wedding. Wedding. Now, I like to do it with the two B. Look at the B and say wedding. Like this. Make the B and cross your B. Wedding. Okay? Wedding. Wedding. Okay. Okay. My uh, wedding will be, everything in the future is with the hands open, will be uh, tomorrow. You see, tomorrow. Like you put your, your thumb in the back of your cheek and you point to tomorrow tomorrow 
All right. So divorce, divorce will be divorce. The two D separated. You put it together and then separate it. Okay, separate it. All right. Okay. So you can ask, are you married? No. I'm divorced. Are you married? No. I'm divorced. Okay. Now, uh, in laws, this is law. You put the L. This is like the Ten Commandments. And this is the L. Law. 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 Okay. Look at the L. Law. This is like Ten Commandments. This is the law. So, how do you say brother in law? Okay. I go to page 22. Um, so, um, so how you say brother-in-law? You say brother-in-law. Boy, law. That's all you have to say. Law. Okay. How do you say sister-in-law? So. Okay. Um, and, uh, page 22, uh, stepmother, stepfather. So, um, uh, you simply, uh, look at the book. It says, place the L before you, twist it slightly inward. Are uh, the sign for mother or father? So, uh, so, uh, again, mother-in-law, ma, uh, I mean, father, let's start with the father, father-in-law. Mother-in-law. Um, so in the book, you can see like this, in-law. Okay. Uh, but to make it easier for you. So brother-in-law, sister-in-law, father-in-law, mother-in-law. Okay. I don't have any sentence for that. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. See. Let's see. You understand. This is leaves, or you can do it with the L, leaves, or without the A. Say it again. My leaves, or with the L, leaves, in, in, you see, make like a Something like that, and the ing. Let's see, you can read. L O What did I say? Logan. Remember, do not spell the words, say the whole words. Okay? So Okay, and so uh, now uh, let's 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 now um, uh, talk about the the other family, um, and so uh, for the rest of the family, remember this part will be the male and this part will be the female. So uncle will be with the U, uncle here, and aunt with the A, aunt. Or aunt, aunt, like this. So you're confused. Don't confuse it with girls. Aunt, uncle, aunt. And so, how do you say nephew and niece? Good with the n. Nephew and niece. Nephew and niece. Now, cousin. That's a problem. We don't know when we say cousin if it's a girl. A boy or a girl. So you have to do it in the middle, right here. Cousin. <laughs> because we don't know. He said, I, I have 30 cousins. So which one are boys and which one are girls? We don't know. So you, you put in the middle, say cousin. Cousin. So question. What am I asking? 
How many cousin you have? How many cousin you have? Okay, cousins. Okay, so you remember the word, we're on page 23. Remember the word family with the F? Family. Family. Okay, um, so baby in your arms, baby. Children or child, remember? Child, just one hand. Children, different hands. Okay? Mm hmm So, you know the song that says, Jesus loved the little children, all the children of the world. You world with the two W's, make a circle. Jesus loved the little, little children oh or you can say o l o l o o a i mean a l oh the children of the world um and so kid uh, is right here kid you you t you put your um uh, what is that your your horns <laughs> here and you put it here okay why because they are uh, wiping the nose okay uh, you know wiping the nose so kid 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 okay all right so last page page 24 24 twins make a t and then you're gonna put your t here and your t here Twins, twins, twins. A sentence. Uh, let's see if I have a sentence. Uh, okay. Uh, my friends are twins, twins, twins. Okay. Okay. Or you can say pretty twins lay uh, uh, girls. Yeah. Pretty twin girls. Okay. Now. Adult. What is an adult? A name is someone, okay, you put the A uh, here on the top and in the mouth. So, uh, um, um, I don't know what they say that. Let me see if I explain that. Um, um, uh, um, uh, an adult is someone who's supposed to think before talk. <laughs> if you are an adult, you're supposed to think before you talk, and then you are an adult. If you talk before you think, maybe you are a child. <laughs> and so an adult is someone who think before talk. Adult, think before talk. Okay, and then parents, we're going to make um, the two signs for parents. You can use the P here, on P, like for father and mother, but in, parents or you can just put um uh, parents both father and mother which one you like with a p or mom and dad parents whatever you want like now the two last sign is generation so you're going to put your two hands and make a circle like generation for the future how about generation the past generation you go backward Okay, Abraham, you know what's Abraham's sign is with the A, like you remember the nights when he was trying to kill his son. So Abraham, Abraham, you hold it because an angel holds his hands. Abraham's. And so you say generations of Abraham or past generation of Abraham. And finally, the last time is couple. Couple is two person, a man and a woman that are married, okay? So, we finish our lesson. So, um, your homework is this. So, I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna put on Facebook this page, okay? So, study and learn these sentences, okay? So lesson three. So make sure you check on Facebook in a few minutes and I'm going to um, send a picture of your homework.
study this. Okay, so let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you created the family. And um, thank you that we can talk in sign language about the family. Bless the students and um, help them to learn and remember all how to communicate in sign language. And thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to teach again at 6 o'clock from 6 to 7, Pastor, or not? Are you just a 5? I'm not sure. Uh, I think you announced a 5. <laughs> um, and so we're going to finish on next Wednesday uh, again at 5 o'clock. I'll see you all. Okay? All. A L. All. Well, you got to turn your hands. All. And. Uh, now I'm going to take a picture of your homework so you can start studying. God bless you and keep praying for the ministry. That's the M. Backward. Moving back and forth. For the deaf at Emmanuel. Like God. With, with an E. Emmanuel Baptist Church. Thank you. Bye. God bless. Thank you, Pastor.